Uh, my first mission trip, I went to uh, Piedras Negras. I think that was back in 2004. I went the following year in April. I went with the youth. Um, my first mission trip was um, about eight months after I came to McKendree. I had just been through Alpha, um, and I saw the signs posted in the fellowship hall uh, for a Mexico mission trip. I had no friends at McKendree, um, and I was praying for a friend uh, and thought it would be an adventure. The children, we had, Ashley was four maybe, at Kenilary I think was around two, and then Audrey, um, I guess she was six, so they were just very young to be leaving them behind. My biggest concerns were really social anxiety because I'm very shy, and I couldn't imagine spending a week uh, with 30 people that I didn't know. Mine was more just the whole international travel aspect, not the unknown having never been out of the country, not knowing what to expect, being in a foreign country, trying to get my mind wrapped around being comfortable with that. Really broadened my faith a lot more because you get out of your comfort zone and you see how God really moves with other people, that he's not just you know here at McKendree, that he's actually out there across the world and being able to interact with those people and really get to know how he moves, how he motivates, and how he uses people to, to basically get the word out and get the, the mission in the world done. For me, it was just amazing that we could go in a country, and I spoke very little Spanish at the time, and how we could work with the children there, and there was just an automatic love. The mission trip was pivotal in my life. Um, I had been my whole adult life without church, grew up in the church. Um, I, in looking back, I'm certain that it was um, God's way of saying welcome back to the church. You should go on a mission trip, uh, if for no other reason than to uh, connect yourself to your church family. It'll be the best experience you'll ever have in your life. You'll, there's no chance you'll ever have a regret for having gone. I mean, you'll see things that you'll never see just living in your day-to-day -day life. Yeah, and I'd say, um, I'd pray about it. If we listen to God, He'll tell us what we're supposed to do. And I think that's definitely um, helped my faith, too, just to know that, you know, when we really ask him, he, he will answer. We uh, visited the site of the orphanage. That's the site where uh, Roy had the vision for an orphanage and it was uh, a poignant time and Karen and David Smith came with us and Karen saw a, a shoe lying there in the dirt uh, in the road and she was just fixated on it. She took pictures of it and she began to pick up stones around it and um, the, the stones were, were black and she picked them up and then she gave a stone to, to each person and those stones, I actually have one with me, I have the stone she gave to me. Uh, Piedras Negras means black rock and so she gave a black rock to every member of the missions team as a reminder that we are taking a part of Piedras Negras back with us when we leave. Karen was obviously deeply moved, and it uh, really did not surprise me at all when they sold their house, quit their jobs, and moved down to serve in Piedras Negras. You know, that mission trip uh, was one of the crucial events in my life that solidified my, my faith in Christ. Those three things were uh, taking a disciple Bible study, take disciple, it will, it's a powerful study. Second was this, this mission trip to Piedras Negras. And third was a uh, walk to Emmaus that I made a, a year after that. This trip was absolutely crucial to my faith. And I would say to you, go on a mission trip. You will never be the same.